everyone welcome back to the youtube channel programming knowledge in today's excel vba videos we are going to continue our discussion on uh, cell referencing in microsoft excel in the previous video we started our discussion on the cell references and uh, we created some of the cell references in vb uh, so in the previous video we worked upon how to edit the contents in active cell and in a particular cell then we also learned about the step by step execution using the step into function uh, of the debug menu so in today's video we are going to look at some of the more methods through which the cells could be referenced in microsoft excel and uh, apart from this we are not going to just look at a single cell but now we are going to work on a range of cells okay so uh, let us uh, start our discussion this is um, our code of the cell reference macro from the previous workbook so i'm going to just change um, the contents over here only now the last line you can see f6 dot value is youtube channel this helped us to change the contents of a particular cell that is f6 now what if we do not want to change the contents of a particular cell but we want to change the contents of a range of cells okay so how can we go with it so a simple uh, method like the one we used here is uh, of square brackets could be used like if we just put a square bracket and then we specify the range of the cells okay so the range of the cells must be specified by using two parameters first is the starting position and the last or the second argument is the ending position like suppose i want a4 till e4 this all uh, five cells to be uh, containing some particular kind of text so my range is a4 to e4 okay so let us just uh, type the starting address of the cell then put a colon and then put the ending address of the cell that is e4 close the square bracket put a dot and write the word value equals here you can specify whatever content you want to write suppose um, what i want to write is uh, say test okay so i have written test and then close the uh, double quotes and then you can simply press f5 or f8 so what i'm going to do is just i'm going to delete this uh, cells because we have already taken a look at it and only i'm going to focus on this okay now if i just press f5 okay so what happens is the macros over here are disabled to enable them you can go to the macros over here click on run okay actually sometimes this problem occurs so you got to open this workbook again and firstly we need to close this workbook okay and then you got to reopen it and here there is an option where you got to click on enable macros okay now what happens is all our changes have been lost so let us just change it once again a4 colon e4 dot value equals test and then you can run it so you can see that in these five cells test has been written as we required okay now similarly if we uh, just want to move in a row wise fashion then also we can use the same thing suppose we want from a4 till a16 test 2 to be written so what you got to do is uh, provide starting point that is a4 provide with the ending point that is a16 close the square bracket put a dot value equals test and close the double quotes and then when you click on run all these have been uh, simply added with a value test 2 so that is how you can work with a range of cells both in a column wise fashion and in a row wise fashion now another method is 
through the range method or the range function you got to type range open the parenthesis here simply like this you can provide a range of cells or a single cell first i'm going to show you for a single cell suppose uh, let us just clear all these contents first okay that was an error just clear all these contents okay now what happens is we just go to this range and provide the cell address like e5 is a cell address uh, close the double quotes close the parenthesis put a dot and then we want to type value so put a tab key equals whatever value you want to provide like here i'm providing sample so that's for a single cell okay if you just click on run in the cell number f6 we have got youtube channel a4 till e4 we've got test but the value of a4 was overridden by this third line test 2 and in e5 we have got sample okay now let us just delete this code for a while and over here suppose in the range function we want to provide a range of cells say we want to provide from h1 till h15 so write h1 put a colon h15 that is starting colon ending put a double quotes close the parenthesis put a dot value equals the text that you want to write okay and you can just click on run you can see this all is covered with text now sample over here okay now this was about uh, the string data but what if you do not want to provide string data you want to provide some numbers so let us check this time i'm moving in a column wise fashion from d17 till j17 is my target so d17 colon j17 put a double quotes parenthesis dot value equals a simple text to like this and you can click on run so you can move in a column wise fashion as well instead of the textual value you got to provide a numerical value you can work with that as well so that's a numerical value now you do not need to provide the double quotes in case of the numerical value so that was another method let us just clear it all and the sheet as well we got to clear it now what happens is we got another method of uh, just adding the contents so there is this function known as cells you got to write it put a parenthesis and as soon as you do that it asks for two things the row index and the column index so using this but obviously you can only just connect or um, write a single cell or refer to a single cell but instead of providing the exact cell address you got to provide the row index number which is obviously from 1 till whatever value you want to provide so you can reference it from here but for the column index instead of a b c d you got to provide corresponding numbers such as 1 for a 2 for b 3 for c and so on suppose i want to write something in e 7 or e 6 it's my current cell so if we talk about row index it's going to be 6 but if we talk about column index it's going to be 1 2 3 4 5 so 6 comma 5 is my target 6 comma 5 uh, close the parenthesis put a dot right value equals say hello okay and then run it so in the cell number 6 comma 5 that is referenced as e6 we have written hello similarly if there is something else like cells put a parenthesis suppose we are referring to e10 or oh sorry c10 so this time it's going to be 10 comma 3 for c okay put a parenthesis dot value now I'm going to provide it with a numerical value say 800 and now if I click on run so 800 is what I have got 
similarly let me show you one another example cells uh, 12 comma sorry 10 comma 3 only if we want to override the value suppose i do not want 800 to be visible but i want 850 to be visible okay now we would be using the step into function for that go to the view tab here's this toolbar click on this debug and here you can see the debug menu is present now this is our debug menu and you can find this is the step into function with all these functions given so you can click on step into like this as we execute this line its contains change to 850 so that is all for today's video thanks for watching